Well, the Quran also says that it's the final hadith. And with uh, this hadith, you don't need any more. You don't understand the word hadith. Oh, well. Huh? It, hadith. The, the Quran says that it's an Arabic word. Yeah, hadith is an Arabic word. It doesn't matter word. if the word is Arabic or Swahili. I didn't know. No. You, you don't know. decide the meaning of it. Well, 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 actually, the meaning is decided by the person saying it. So, you, if you'd like, can obfuscate on the meaning and say, oh, actually, it means, you know, uh, letters or whatever your case might be. However, meaning is provided by context. So when you say, or when the Quran says, after this hadith, you don't need any more, I could simply say that the words in the Quran are taught by the Quran to be sufficient for you. However, in practice, you require multiple additional words from Sirah, from Hadith, Hadith Qudsi, tradition, uh, the, the ulama and, and, and all of their different, um, uh, what's that word, ijma on, on matters, tafsir. The Quran, being the word of God, is ill prepared to actually serve you as Muslims. Okay. That's all said because we require tafsir. He said because it's incomplete. The Quran is insufficient. It's simply a critique on the like your methodology and your understanding of what is not sufficient for you. Good. So you don't have any tafsir for your Bible? Of course we do, right? However, however, we do not hold the idea that the Bible fell from the sky and every word in it is from Allah directly. Transmitted to the minds so of the you, prophets. The, no, the Bible is we, not hold on, hold on. Hear the position. Before you ask the question, hear yes. the position. Right. We affirm it is from God by matter of inspiration. Yeah. Matter of what? Inspiration. But, but inspiration the Quran? Hold on, stay still. I'll, I'll come to you. From inspiration, divine inspiration. So yes, okay. in the Bible, you have the words of men. It is a completely man-made work. Right. It is written and talked about by men. It contains history, poetry, allegories, even mythology. However, we still believe that despite those things, despite those works of men, the power of God is still able to add things like, for example, revelation or even prophecy into those works that men write. That's all. Now you, sir, how can I can help you? In the Quran, we have that, the, if you, first of all, we believe in the Quran that he is the, the, the word of God. It's okay. That's a problem. Okay, we can talk about it. Why is okay. it a problem? What's the problem? Uh, okay, so I, I'll say it again for you. Uh, uh, the I'm Quran... Talking, in, point, in, in my point of view, that the Quran is the word uh, of the God. As how, Muslim. How do as you Muslim. understand that to be? No, 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 no. As it's Muslim. just the problem. It's not a... It's a big problem. No, no, it's, it's not it's the problem. main problem. No, it's a problem for you guys. I can no, tell you why. No, 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 no. It's not the main problem. I can tell you I why believe, it is. I, if I, you believe, want to know. I believe in the Quran and it's my problem. And I believe in pink dragons. But unless I can it's prove it to you, that's not it's good enough. Problem. I'm not, I'm not, pro okay, I'm not talking that. about this. I'm talking yeah. about why we believe in Hadith and the Sunnah. I don't need to know why. But I understand but, but why. You, you, the you, answer. But, 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 but you, you are talking about simple. this. I, there's multiple things going on. Uh, but you ultimately, are talking about let him, this. Let, let him get his point off and then we'll talk yeah. about it. You were talking about this. You, you said it's a problem. Why, why, why the Quran, it's not, it's not enough. Hmm? You were talking about this. Now. Wait, so when Do you it have a point to make, sir, or are you just gonna you, are you gonna make a point? No, no, or because, repeat what I said because I said uh, you are you uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I believe in the Quran. You said okay. it's a problem. And I can't, I my can't, response to you is that the Quran is me. not worthy to be believed in. Okay, uh, you, you, now no, I can no, tell no, you I, why you, you, you are you are talking about many problems. No, just one. No, 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 just just you were talking about the hadith, and now you say the Quran is not the word of a God. I didn't, no, say, no, I, I didn't no, quite no, say no. that, but you, yeah, you sure, are, that, that is true you, as well. You, 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 you actually said I didn't say that, no. I didn't say it wasn't the word of God. I said if it is, you a problem. You are running, bro. No, I'm standing still. No, 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 you are running. I can't, I can't talk okay, about Okay, so, Hadith. my dude, if, if you, if my dude, I tell you, that you haven't made a point yet. So, what I'm going to do now is carry on and tell you why your Quran is not good enough. You ready? What? I'm going to tell you why your Quran is not good enough. Well, it's not right. Okay, it's not yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank uh, you. Well, I, I can go. Yeah, yeah, That's fine. Hold that. Okay, guys. So, you believe the Quran is the word of God. Yeah. In a capacity where the very words, sentences, commas, even the alifs that are in there, all come directly from God, yes. transcribed to his messenger angel Jibril, and then given to the man Muhammad, who recites uh, and then the is prophet, written later yes. uh, by scribes. Is this correct? Is this yes. correct? Yes. 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 Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. It's from Allah, yeah. Jibreel, then Muhammad, and then written by his Sahaba. 
Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Correct. Now, you believe that in this entire process, not a single bit of revelation, not a single mistake is made. Yes. Everything that is in that Definitely. book, in Definitely. the most that you Definitely. have today, yes. is direct. It's from God yes. in a exactly. direct sense. Till yes. now. Okay. Yeah. Now, how do you then contend with the historical errors, scientific errors, okay. moral errors that are within the Quran itself? Okay. Uh, are you, you are talking about scientific errors? Okay. Moral, uh, scientific, uh, 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 historical, one, all let's the whole gamut. Uh, okay, pick one and then show us the Sure thing. Yeah. So, multiple times, this is my favorite one actually, multiple times in the Quran, it says, this Quran is clear. This is a clear book. This is it. This is in clear Arabic, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, clear would imply that the words and the teachings there are plain to read and plain to understand. Yeah. But you get to Surah Al-Imran, Ayah 7, and it tells you actually, hold on a second. The Quran the Quran's clear, but some parts of it are obscure. Okay. Now, those who focus on the obscure parts have their hearts no, darkened. It's not ah, obscure. Hold on, no, hold on, not, hold on. Obscure. Calm down, calm no, down. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me finish. finish. Wait, let me finish. Wait, let me Don't worry, my friend. I'm right here. And then those who focus on the clear parts, those of us in the clear parts are on the right path. Now, my friends, contradictions are when things oppose each other and cannot both be true in the same sense, in the same capacity at the same time. The Quran cannot be holistically a clear book while simultaneously having parts that are obscure and unclear. Okay, that would sorry. mean that the Quran is a partially clear book. My last, my last example, my last example, if, 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 last example, guys, come over to my house. It's clean. But, you know, my bathroom is dirty, but ignore that. My house is clean. That doesn't work, right? So, that's just one of them. Now, please, if you'd like to, go ahead and respond. And if I want an example, how it is, go to 19 verse 1. A bunch of gibberish. It's obscure. Why is obscure? It's not, it's not the right translation. Okay, what does it mean? It's not the right Mutashabi has allegorical. But it doesn't tell you what parts are allegorical. Confusing. It's not obscure. Obscure and confusing. It's not the same thing. Okay. Being confusing. Well, allegory can be obscure. What? No, it's not obscure. It's confusing. Bro, you are. I'm, uh, I am Arabic. My native Co language congratulations. is Arabic. Congratulations. My native, I understand. I, I'm Nigerian. The Quran. I so, I'm Scottish. do any of you guys talking, have an answer? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me finish. You are talking? And no, you but, 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 do, yes, let me be talking. He doesn't Confusing is not obscure. So the Quran is, is not saying that he, 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 it is obscure, bro. It's not saying. Pardon? What's that my point? Yeah, you said yeah, that. Yeah, you said actually that. said that. Was that my main point? Yes, yes, yes. You actually yes. said that. Okay. That's wrong about Quran. Yeah, it's okay. wrong about right. Quran. I'm not going to accept it. I, 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 let's I, 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 let's it go back will, one step. It, 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 you guys all, remember all the analogy I gave about my house? Don't, no, no, please, no, 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 no. It's not, not, it's not, it's not, point. it's not, it's not, it's not good wrong, exception. It's a wrong fact about uh, Quran. And we cannot do you remember that. the point uh, I made about my house? I, I remember. Oh, the example you, you made doesn't equate though. Do you please yeah. mind uh, uh, telling them what that point was? Muhammad, my house is, uh, is clean, but this, uh, the bathroom exactly. is, uh, is dirty. So is my house still clean? The Quran is not saying this. It yeah, is. He's saying no. the example doesn't equate. It, 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 it does directly. It doesn't. Um, so, <laughs> so, okay. So a house comprises of many rooms, including a bathroom. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If I said that my house was clean, that wouldn't. Can I just get the A? Yes. It's three We know it off by heart. Just need to read the English Great. So. If my house, which comprises of many rooms, has one room that is unclean, I cannot then say holistically my house is clean. Is that wrong or right? That's right. Okay, perfect. Uh, 100% now, right. Yeah. If the Quran claims to be holistically clear multiple times, by the way, yeah. in the Quran itself, and then tells you later that there are parts of the Quran that are obscure and unclear, no, no, that no, then implies no, that no, no, uh, no, no. it's okay. It's, right. it's saying there's parts of the, of the Quran that are unspecific. These parts that are unspecific doesn't mean it's dirty. It 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 I didn't it say the word dirty. That was an analogy. Yeah, yeah, he said now, that can obscure. Something, can something be unspecific and clear at the same time? If it can, tell me what that is, please. 
Can something be? On specific, on specific and simultaneously yeah. clear. Yeah, but she is specific, no. Okay. Okay. It's still not a right translation. It's not the right translation. Uh, Arabic, man. You're gonna uh, love it. It's not the right translation. The language where... Uh, you can't translate it to anything else. You can translate it to anything else. Exactly. Oh, I'm with but you. But this is unspecific, but not, not, not exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me something no, no. that is unspecific yet no. clear? No, no. It doesn't exist. No, also. no, no, no. no. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Something wait, that's wait, specific, but you, yet, yet, yet clear at the same time. No, it's not clear. No, it's not specific. It's talking about general things. Yeah, not a context, not a specific context. Uh, not specific. But it's clear. But you it's can clear understand everything in it. Yeah. Uh, that's but not true. Why? No, why is why not true? true for you? So, because there's only one truth. So we don't have individual truths. There's only one truth. Now, my point still remains. He gets it. Well, you guys don't. But well, he gets that. I, 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 I does. Because you are native Arabic. And no, no, no. I said the example. English. 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 I understand English. your example. It, it does equate. It doesn't equate. It does, actually. Because my analogy says this. If something is claiming to be holistically one way, it cannot simultaneously be the other. If my house oh. is holistically clean, uh, it cannot simultaneously have a dirty room. No, the, no, if the Quran the, is, is holistically clear, yeah, anyway. it yeah, cannot simultaneously yeah, have unclear yeah, 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 verses. Yeah. Keep, yeah. keep, keep it's, trying. It's not, it's Hopefully not the Arabic will help you at some point. It's not that we are talking about, uh, about uh, uh, <laughs> clarity, uh, cleanliness, uh, but we are talking about the meaning of a... Do, do you guys it's understand not, what an analogy uh, is? No, no. Uh, yeah, but the analogy is... Uh, it's, it's, it's not the same... Okay. Please tell me how. It's a false comparison. How can you compare cleanliness with meanings? It's not the same. It's not the same. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Analogies are never supposed to be a perfect reflection of the reality you're trying to compare it to. I understand that. Are There's we no clear way. on this? Yeah, but for example, for example, make sense. if, I, if, if I say he is as brave as a lion, I am not calling him a lion. I am comparing him to the perceived bravery of a noble animal. All right. Now, I can still say that of you, despite you being a human being, despite you not being a lion. And we all understand this. Perfect, right? Now, when it comes to holistically saying that my house is clean, yet I have a dirty bathroom, I am comparing this in an imperfect sense to the fact that the Quran claims multiple times to be clear, but also uh, says, a house with, hold with, on, with, with, no. with, with, with words and meaning. No. Your, your no. example What's is a contradiction. Can I ask my you? example yeah, wouldn't contradict. Because you can't have a clean house as a dirty bathroom. Perfect. Yes. Now, That's can we have a clear verse. Quran with unclear verses? On clear it's sections not components. It's it's clear. Clear. It doesn't say it doesn't it's, say it's, it's not as there, there, there is something. I agree in with the you with the house. The house okay. is clear. Perfect. Yeah. Now, there is according to that yeah. verse, yeah. there is something, at least one thing in the Quran that is not clear. So can the Quran be clear and have at least one thing that is not clear at the same time? It doesn't say unclear. That's not what the Shabbat Aminah means. Whether you want to call it obscure, allegorical, um, uh, unclear, maybe uh, maybe um, uh, not well described. Bottom line is, whatever is being described there is the exact opposite of the clarity of the Quran. Okay. So, how can we have so both at the same time? Something that have a lot of meaning. Ah. Okay. So he's saying the meaning of the in this context is not unclear. He's saying it's something that has many meanings. Which is why, if people follow those specific verses, they can interpret it however they want. Even if you want to be that shameful. And they will follow fitna. Yeah, yes. they follow fitna. Because everyone will start deciding, yeah. oh, this means this, this means this, this means this, this means this. Well, okay. Uh, it doesn't so mean it's unclear. Even people if, start following their desires. Well, something that has multiple meanings that make it difficult to decipher the one singular true intention of the word okay. is unclear. Yeah, by the no, that, that what's mean that you have to follow all the Quran, don't take what, a part of yeah, it, a and part of it, and, and believe it, not, and you make. That's it, not make what the verse ibadah. says. That's the, not what the verse that, says. What the the story, verse yeah. says that people focus on these parts that yeah, are yeah, obscure. Yeah, exactly. what, yeah, the people that want to fall, what, fall fitna. What yeah, are yeah. these parts? Yes. Where are they? 
Again, give me an example. Uh, yeah. What are these Barcelona players? What this is this? Sorry. Uh, Suba Al Imran, Surah 3 yeah, versus 7. The uh, 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 yes. So what are these parts? And how can you be sure that the parts you think are unclear are actually unclear? And the parts that you think are clear are not yes, indeed the unclear ones? It's a good, it's a good question. Exactly. It's a good question for us. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. the problem. Yeah. We can have the answer. That's just one of the reasons yeah. why I say that your definition of how the Quran is from God okay. leads you to problems like this. It doesn't disprove the Quran. Well, it, it does uh, um, in this way. Just because I don't have the answer doesn't mean it disproves the Quran. No, that is the, <laughs> that, that's not the that's not the reason why it's from the Quran. Yeah. The, the Quran isn't like upheld by your knowledge of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, the light of the Quran clearly here makes a logical contradiction of itself, proves that it can't be from God in the sense that you claim no, no, it is, Cain, Cain, because Jezob's God cannot make yeah, yeah. Because uh, hold on, hold on, because God cannot make a logical contradiction. I want to invite someone yeah, to answer that no, question. No, it's a good no. question. Actually, I want to answer it as well. Yeah, it's I mean, a, it's, it's my good. ustad will probably will be able to answer. Please it. go to your ustads. Yeah. No, they won't talk to you because they don't like me. But go to your ustads, <laughs> find the answer, yeah. come back to me. My name's David, by the way. That's David. All right, okay. and that, 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 yeah, that's only one. Huh? I have many more for you guys, but we can start with but that. If you, can get but you, if, if you do this with the Quran, there is to all of them. the Bible, there is more than this. A lot of contradiction inside, inside the Bible. Are you Christian? Are you, Christian? Uh, you, you are a uh, Christian uh, Catholic? Or, uh, uh, just uh, I'm Protestant, for example. Oh, Protestant. Yeah, Protestant. Okay. Protestant, you believe oh, you Jesus is God? Huh? Why do you say it like that? It's okay, it sounds like you believe. Uh, You're a Protestant? I said it, so I'm a Protestant. Oh, okay. I know, oh, it's just the way you say it. I'm a Shia, that's what it is. I no, ask no, you this I'm question. Still, you know, <laughs> Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm in a body, <laughs> it's what it is. I will, you know? I will tell you why I ask this question. Because uh, I wanted to know if you believe that yes. Jesus is God or not. Because Jehovah uh, Witnesses uh, no, believe no, 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 no. that Jesus is not God. Can I ask you uh, okay. two questions real quick? No, no, no. Let he's me finish. He's I'm, uh, uh, well, he's not actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's yeah. making a statement. Yeah, um, yes. I asked. Can I just confirm something with you? Let so him speak at least. you guys. <laughs> no. I, I have no. I, you do, I will let you speak for all eternity if you like. I just want to clarify finish. one thing. Is that okay? Uh, okay? May I clarify one thing? Is that okay? Yeah. Go, 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 go. You're holding this. That's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm not holding it. I'm holding it. it. No, you're holding the, the discussion. Here. No, I'm not, I'm not going to no, hold, no, no, hold it. I'm not going to hold it. Just don't. Yeah, go. Very quickly. Very quickly. I find it always intriguing when I speak to Muslims that. When I bring up a question about the Quran, normally it's like, you know, we don't know, we'll go find an answer. But then simultaneously, you're also very sure that the Bible is incorrect, despite the fact that you have not spent one one hundredth of the time uh, that you have with the Quran with the Bible. So how can you possibly know what the Bible contains that is wrong unless you're only appealing to what you've heard others say? No, the Quran. Yes, like have like you, like you, you like you. Uh, the Quran. Uh, uh, have you applied that standard to the Quran? Uh, I have. Who asked I have the spent the infinitely more time with the Bible than I have with the Quran. Okay. Right? Now, to be charitable, I have read components of the Quran, not the entire thing. Okay. Components of it. Okay. okay. So for example, same, 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 wait, same. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, for example, I have read. For, wrong, for, for example, for example, I have read Surah Al Baqarah. I haven't committed the entire thing to heart, but I have read it. Okay. I have read. I have, I have read Surah Al Imran. Okay. Now, when I I have read Surah 43, right. Surah 18, right. Surah 20, right. 28, everyone, everyone, 27, okay. right? Okay. And now, when I read these things, okay. in every chapter that I read, in every okay. Surah, I found issues. Now. In each one. Yes. Each one of them. Multiple, multiple. In every one I read. <laughs> Okay, that's too much. That, that's subjective to you. But that's even you. No, no. It is subjective. They, are, they aren't just like, oh, I read this and uh, I don't like how it phrased it. If, if, if I said, for example, like, oh, you know, the, the, the phraseology here isn't good. Sure, that's subjective. But there are actual, like I told you before, moral, historical, as well as um, contradictory statements that I find in all these chapters. And I can show them for you, like I said. So, uh, uh, Surah 2, Surah 3, Surah 20, 18, 27, 28, 43. I'm just giving numbers now. Uh, no, these are the ones I've read in full. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I can show them to you. 
Okay. Sorry, 19 as well, 19 as well. Right? Like what? For example, the first one I showed you. Sorry, the, what? the first one I showed you. The Quran is clear, it right. says multiple times. It says but that at the same time, specific but clear. No. So this is go back no. To in all the verses, in all the verses the where the Quran... The translation is, between Arabic and English is, is not the same as... I can understand it. Another, another. It's not the same. Uh, unspecific. Well, well, it could well, then, be unspecific okay, and, well, then, and clear at the same time. Yeah, that's impossible. It is impossible. It is possible. Sorry. It's not. It is. Um, can, can you be tall and short at can the same time? It? Can you prove it? Yeah, it's, it's a contradiction. Right? Okay. So, okay. for example, if I said that I am both tall and short at the same time, uh, the two of them cannot be true simultaneously. That's unspecific and specific yes, at the same time. So those I'm two, saying that those two can be God true. Says, God says that it's unspecific and clear at the same time. You can't have that be a can same I, can I ask That's a question. Yeah, Alright, sure. so if something is un unspecific or yeah. so if something is clear to you, yeah, it's general. Yeah. That, you're sure. they're, they're, they're not affirming. Okay, if something is clear well, to you okay, and you want it to be clear, it's clear, they're yeah, but they're it's clear right? You understand something. Yeah. Okay, well, and you want no, it to... Anyone can say, right, and you want to communicate that to someone else. And unspecific okay? at the same time. Would you not be as specific as you could to convey that idea? If he doesn't understand it without a specific, that's okay. I'm going to stop there. Because it's clear. If you read it, it's, then it's, then it's clear, then no, no, you can no, understand no, it. No, no. But it's not specific. No, no, you're not, answer, you're, you're not answering the question. I said, if something is clear to you and you want to communicate a clear idea to someone, right, would you not use every detail you could to explain that to that other person? Wait, could, you want to you communicate an idea to what, someone? What does it mean, clear? That there is some understandable. understandable. No, 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 yeah, no. yeah, you have. No, no, if you read no, it, if no, anyone read no, it, we are not telling that that he is that he is uh, uh, about mutashabe. Mutashabe. What does it mean? That uh, it's not. There is some verses that are not specified. Uh, even, um, for example, for ahkams, uh, ahkams. It's uh, how how to do wudu. Or, or rules, rules of, or of Islam. Islam. There is some verses okay, that, that, that the talk thing? generally. Do, do you know what's the thing? Sorry. That are not specific. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, those areas are still clear. Uh, so clear. But it's not specific for one thing. You can, uh, it's applicable uh, for every okay. single thing uh, that okay. we have in Islam. But what I'm saying, if I concede to that, right, and I say, you have full understanding of something, all right. okay, yeah. you know all everything right. about right. something. Definitely. Okay, now you want to teach that thing to him. Yeah. Okay. Right. Would you not give him every detail possible that you have to give him that knowledge? If he can understand it without sure. these details, I'm, go I'm going to give it. Right. Just okay. give it. So yeah. Without then, a specific topic. Uh, so would you ever intentionally be unspecific about something? No. Oh. Uh, uh, if you take, uh, uh, if you take, if you take uh, no, a, ver a verse I don't have a good who, is, answer. who is, who uh, is, uh, 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 it's not detailed. It's not detailed. Okay, I'm just going to concede that just for now. If you but take, you still have to answer. If you take a verse that is not specific, it's not specific. 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 Yeah. But more detailed, okay. because, so, because so. The, the, the Prophet says said that uh, in the Quran there is some verses that are... Complementary. The, the, you need to read okay. the whole Quran okay. to understand the whole Islam. So that's fine. You can't, you can't, sorry, you can't extract one ayah uh, and say that this ayah is wrong. No, yeah. this ayah okay. is wrong. No, 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 no. You, should, you should read the whole no, Quran. That's fine. Yeah. And, and the whole Quran is If you, yeah. if you, that, that, you don't have to answer my objection. Yeah, you have to answer his now because yeah. now you have to deal with the holistic problem. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You're right, you're right. So you're right. if I concede to your, your, uh, your paradigm, no, because you have to answer. Because you said, why, why can it be unspecific? And I can understand it. Why is it unspecific? And when I read it, it's, it's clear, it's understandable. No, no, I'm asking, answer now. why would Allah be unspecific about something intentionally then? All right. Uh, um, oh, okay. Because you said that. that that's your question. Um, that was your question. May I just put it for a moment? Uh, to further his point, it does say Are you that... Christian, sorry. I, yeah. Okay. It does say that only Allah knows the meaning of those verses that are unspecific. So that's a good question. Why is Allah being intentionally okay. unspecific in certain components of the Quran? It, it, it builds on my question as well. Could, I, you, I, I, could you repeat, point. please, the question? Uh, that ayah says that, on, that uh, only Allah knows the meaning of some of these obscure verses. Is that right? If let me move the. Oh, uh, oh okay, okay. Okay. So, okay. Just, but so further to sorry, uh, 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 further to his points. Okay. If you were communicating something to, for example, him, you'd right. be as clear as you could. 
okay. without intentionally being vague or obscure. All right. So what is the purpose behind the Quran containing vague and obscure references or whole surahs or ayahs? No, or it's not vague and obscure uh, references. What's the purpose behind that? No. Why is Allah being intentionally example, unclear in certain components? Uh, if the Quran is clear, what's the point of it? <laughs> I mean, you can say it's a test, for example. I don't understand the question even, so. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, confusion for people. Yeah, those uh, verses aren't confusing the anyway. Those verses are not confusing. It's mentioned in another ayah that, that the Quran is unspecific. These ayahs, the Alif Lam Mim, Alif Lam Ra, it could be non understandable, but you don't need it, you don't, you don't even need it yeah. to improve your, your, your Islam Why and yourself. Why is it? Why is it there? Why is it there? Why is it there? God also tells us in the Quran, yeah. God says something it's, that's not needed. Okay, needed. there is another ayah in the Quran, it's in, any to believe in it. one chapter you says that God it. can do so whatever he wants. Uh, uh, then, so this, to, then it's obscure then, right? If you don't understand the meaning. It's not obscure. Okay, but, no, okay. But, let's no. use a different word. If you it don't does have a meaning. It does have a meaning, but we don't know it. We need to. That would mean it's obscure, period. Because no, for, it for, time for, for example, I, I could say founded. blow, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay. There's a meaning there. But you're not God. Yeah. But I, I don't but know. But you're, you're not God. God. You're, you're not God. God. Right. You don't okay. do what you want. God also says in the Quran, so, God does what he wants. You're assuming, I heard what he said. Yeah. You're assuming that God wrote the Quran, right? That's an assumption. And it's important for your faith. Yeah. I'm, I'm not asking you to, you know, but that assumption is based off evidence as well. Well, there is. So, so you see, what I'm, just what I'm bringing up to you yeah. is contradictory to whatever evidence you can provide me because there are illogical things in the book that is provided by an otherwise logical God. So, can you bring me like further examples? What, uh, do you want further examples? Yeah, let's go to so, another so, one. Okay, for, for, so yeah. just to confirm, in this first instance, yes. the Quran claims to be clear, mm -hmm. yeah. but also unclear yeah. simultaneously. Which is a literal contradiction. So, what, whatever word you can bring, it is a synonym of unclear. Whatever word you want to use, obscure, um, misty, um, uh, opaque, it is a synonym for unclear. Especially when it comes to textual interpretation. Mutashabi here, from my understanding, is like an allegory, something that isn't necessarily it's like plain. Uh, uh, to start, uh, for example, uh, um, don't, don't see the forest for the trees. For example, like an allegory. Right? There's a meaning behind it, but then the phraseology it's doesn't the same actually. Thing in Arabic no, allegory. No, 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 it's not allegory. Do you know Arabic is more specific than English? Sure. Yeah. You have like, isn't there like, Hebrew is even less specific, but Arabic you have like 600 words for the word... Um, lion. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a sword. We have, yeah. we have maybe more than 1,000. Exactly. Well, that's not specific then. That's, that's exactly. No, 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 no. Each specific. word has a meaning. It's no. no. It has meaning. Like a specific no. word has no, a meaning. meaning. So, for example, for but, example, but then, I, give you, I give you an example for Arabic. For example, Ijlis or Uqud. Okay. If you if you understand this word, the, the two words means sit. 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 Yeah. But sit when down. we we tell someone Uqud and when we tell someone Ijlis, it's not the same. Well, okay. it's like we say. Uh, let let me finish. Up. Let me finish. When when someone is stand up, up yes, yeah, and you, you you tell him. It's just, it's not true. It's, it's, it's not the same. It's not correct. Quite. It's not correct. You, ha you have to tell him Uqud because the Arabic is like this. But one, if, if one uh, uh, Rahmat like, uh, like in a relaxed position. Ex yeah. Exactly. Like more. You have to tell him Ijlis. You wouldn't say okay. Okay. So it's same meaning for mean you Ijlis and Uqud. Okay. But they're more it's specific. You, you have one word for it. Then what's yeah. the you have, sorry, sorry. Of obscure then, that word used in the Quran. Oh, so you're saying what's the specific meaning? Tashabu. You, ju you just said Tashabu. Oh, Tashabu. It's something that uh, uh, it looks like it. Looks like it. Uh, 
It's so hard to translate. It's hard to translate. If we say. Literal analogy, a parable, like that's all it is. For example, if you if you take two two persons, and you say this person is uh, similar, uh, similar, similar like like similar. other. Oh, wait, person. What's your example? It's not the same. If I said you're as brave as a lion, is that mutashabiha? Uh, no, 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 no. What is no, that? No, no. What is that? that it's a metaphor. That's the shbih. Yeah, but what, what, what's the metaphor in it? The shbih and mutashabiha is not the same. The shbih no. is. Uh, okay. is uh, uh, it's a metaphor, I think, in English. Metaphor, uh, metaphor, uh, metaphor, yeah. A metaphor. So, metaphor. simile or metaphor? A metaphor. I don't know how to say it in English, but. It's a metaphor, metaphor. Metaphor, metaphor. It's the same in French. So, so tashbih is a metaphor. Tashbih is a metaphor. No, no, no. What's the difference? No, it can be metaphor. It can be, metaphor, it in English, it can be uh, similar. Arabic is difficult. <laughs> well, it seems difficult. like very obscure. Uh, you you yeah, said it was very the, specific. Yeah, Why would something that. specific because be the, also difficult? Oh. No, no, the language is difficult. The language, the language difficult. it's not even the, same the word, thing. even the word uh, unspecific in that area is not the most accurate word for the, the word in Arabic. And this yeah. is from God. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. But, but it's in Arabic, Arabic, it's not in no, English. It's you have, but you have to be send it in English. Arabic. But, but, but you, you, you understand it in Arabic. But before, when I described to you how I understand the Quran to work, okay. you all agreed with me that it was given to Muhammad by Jibril. Yeah. And then in, Arabic, in Arabic. In Arabic, a Qurayshi, yeah. I believe. Yeah. And then scribes wrote it down. So, in, in this entire sequence, oh. is any of the meaning lost? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, 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 no. so then that would then mean that this ayah in the way it's presented in the Arabic is directly from God, but yet it's causing so much confusion when we're looking at it. Therefore, can we still assume that it is from God in this direct sense? Because if it is, then God is the origin of this confusion. If, if you're giving an argument with the Quran, I can give many arguments for, for the Bible, for your uh, Bible. Uh, many, uh, millions of arguments. You can do that, I, I but do there's that. still two you're problems. Doing it now for, for Quran. No, hold on a second. Mm. I have no problem defending the Bible. I'm just making a point. You I'm haven't spent a lot of time with the Bible. I doubt any of you have ever read a chapter of the Bible. I did. Sorry, we did, we did, we did, we did. We did. What chapter did you read? Uh, you have several uh, chapters. We don't know them off by heart. Uh, uh, the Garden no, 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 of Gethsemane, no, 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 no. Because you I, have several Bibles. No, 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 not even I do. I can give you a Bible that you read. I wouldn't say I've read a whole chapter. A chapter. But a second ago, you all said yes. It's like you've only read verses of the Bible in order to counteract and have it for Islamic apologetics. Like, you've read the Bible in order to counteract points that you want to give either towards Christians or against Christians, not just reading That's it. That's probably a statement, yeah. 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 I, 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 I don't have an issue with that. I think it's chapter 10, Nihvan al Yeah, yeah, like the Garden of Gethsemane. Ta'a yeah. yeah. Jesus key. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus okay. praying. Give it to him, Jesus, Jesus give it to him. Hungry. Give it to him. Okay, so you're yeah. going to go into the human nature conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So, give it to him, give it to yeah. him. He, he already knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 it's, 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 um, the <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 day, the day that like I can get a brand new point yes. that I haven't heard a hundred I mean, times you've before. You've probably been here for years, so you've probably heard everything. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm closing it on two in January. Yeah. Um, the, the day I'll hear a new point that I've never heard before, I have to give that guy a high five. <laughs> but okay, fine, fair enough. Yeah. Um, in closing, the my issue with the way that you understand the Quran to be from God is that you have issues like what we just talked about where there are contradictory things in the Quran. Now, if these contradictions are perfectly transcribed from God's humans, then God is making contradictory statements in a book. And this is a problem because God cannot be contradictory. He cannot be illogical because he's the very foundation of logic and stability in our universe.